Hate me that much, then I'd rather die. Ask me, nobody on this. Some people just tell better lies. Truthfully, I'm the better guy. Got this little light in me, but I feel like I never shine. Pray to God that I never die. Make the dumbest decisions, but I feel like forever why. We got Justin right here. He saved the homeless and he ready to take the help. You ready to take the help? Yeah. The, the way I get to tell you what you want to offer. Alright, uh, welcome to a victim you struggle. Uh, what was, what's, what's the series of events that led you to being homeless? Uh, lack of money, drug addiction, just getting kicked out. Can you have to speak up just a little bit? Uh, lack of money, yeah. drug problems, uh, what's your not drug? being able to find a job. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Where you from? You from Baltimore City? Yeah. What part? Like East? West? Yeah, East Baltimore. East Baltimore. Uh, city line area. Like right, right. Yeah, between Rosedale and Baltimore. So, what's your drug of choice? Uh, heroin. Heroin? Yeah. Oh, man. That's is, it, is it something that... What, what do heroin do for you besides this ride? Like, like, does it make you feel more clarity? Do it... I you mean, it, give, just, it gets me through hard times, like depression and stuff. But other than that, not really. Bad withdrawal symptoms? Not really, no. How long you been how long you been doing it? Uh I started up recently after uh, I had a girlfriend pass away. Uh, and uh, but I had I had been on it like when I was fifteen. Right. But I just relapsed recently. I'm on methadone too. That's why I don't get withdrawals that bad. Right. What were some of the things that caused you to, to relapse? I, my girlfriend died. Yeah, my guy. Yeah. It's like a combination of drugs and. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Really nice to go. So, why, why are you not able to get a home? Uh, a, I don't have credit. B, I don't have a job. I don't have any like, savings. I mean, I got a cardboard tie out on the street paying. Right. Money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then also, I have a drug addiction. So. It's real. You got people who ain't addicted to drugs, who, like, yeah. got, and My grandma they ain't even got houses and shit. But. It's hard to get a house, bro. I yeah, ain't gonna lie. Even people that don't have my problems. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Problem. Like, it's hard as fuck, bro. So, what, what, what you think the city can do to, to help the homeless? What do I think the city can do to help the homeless? I mean, I. I think they need to invest more in like uh, like properties that like maybe they can get the homeless people into. Because I know during the winter they put people up in hotels, but if they had something like stable throughout the whole year just to get people on their feet, they would be able to put money away and right, like transitional houses. Yeah, transitional houses. Like to be used so it just gets you right through whenever so you get on your feet. Exactly. That's what you need help with. That's what most people need help with. I mean, other than me. Right. So, what's some of the worst places you had to sleep at? Like, uh, worst place I slept at. Uh, fell asleep in the the alley, like right by Lexington Market. That's the bad spot. That's the worst spot you had to sleep in. Right by Lexington Market. Man. Yeah. Or the big alley. Yeah, the one. Well, it's. I don't know if it's an alley or if it's a street, but it has the. Uh, the mark training. I, I, I haven't slept there. I only fell asleep there once. Because most of the spots are shit holes. Mm -hmm. They all smell. You got no privacy. So, so what's the worst part about being homeless? What's the worst part? About being homeless. Uh, you don't have any. Besides not having a home. I mean, there's no stability. You basically live there. So what, what is it that what is it that, that that you could do? What is that you could do to better your situation? And like what you think you could do? Probably get on. Uh, stop using it. Hey, I need. To, I've been looking for a job, but I haven't got any responses. Um, I go to libraries sometimes. Sometimes my grandma lets me use the computer to apply for jobs, but I haven't heard anything. I've really been trying. I haven't had a job in like three years. So Yeah, like what you so how you how do you make money? Like but like I see you panhandle, but what else do you do to make money? Uh I mean nothing. Really. 
I don't like the steel, so I just can't handle it. Right. Who was it that made you cheat? Hold on, Pete. Hold on, Pete. That made you choose her. What made you get on to her? I don't, I don't know. I was just eating. I was just oxycodone. something I tried and then I got addicted to it. Say it again, repeat it again. When I was 15, I tried oxycodone and from 15 on, I was like addicted to opiates. So it wasn't like I initially jumped out and was like, yeah, I need to do heroin. It was like I was doing oxys and then I moved to heroin because it was cheaper. And then I was clean for a really long time, and then, like I said, I relapsed. And once you relapsed, that's how you got on the street for real. Yeah. I mean, my family doesn't like when I'm using, so yeah. Right. My family disowns you. Not disown me, but like they, they really don't like. Me. Like separate. They want to separate yeah, from you for want real. They want yes. Yeah, they want distance. But they love you, and they don't want to see you like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get it. So if you can get treatment today, with homeless, being homeless, and treatment today with having a drug addiction, would you take it today? Probably not. Honestly. At least you'd be honest, though. That is my fast. Like I said, I'm, said, I'm already in a... You said no, you wouldn't take it today? Probably yeah, no, not. No, I wouldn't take you it would. today. Only because I... I, I see a psychiatrist, I go to the methadone clinic. I mean, I'm doing things to try to get on my feet. It's just a small step. Just feel like you gotta do it your way. But is, is, that, is not, that what it is? It's not that, it's just, I, I wouldn't want to commit to like a rehab or something like that. Only because I've been there and once you're in, they don't feel like stuck. You're uh, probably just not ready yet. You're probably uh, just not, and, not ready. And, and it's okay not to be ready. At least you're honest with yourself. You understand what I'm saying? But it's other, it's other options, though, besides having to go through. Because you still want uh, help with, with a home, right? Yeah. So if you really want to take the help to get a home, you don't have to get to a drug addiction spot with you. That's why I come in place at. I can sit down one-on-one -on -one with you and call the people we need to call right. and find you a bed. Yeah, it's just it's just simple as calling up a certain spot but they don't want to hear you only had to sleep in that alley they want to hear more but he don't want to commit to that no he don't want to commit he, he. to he don't want to commit to a rehabilitation program the program i'm talking about set one-on-one -on -one with him is for him to get a home he's going to have to go into a home and shelter you also are you willing to get into a home and shelter uh, probably now a home and shelter has a curfew yeah i know they do like this is the one down by uh, charles street I see the people outside. I don't know how many now. Um, and I know the Franciscan Center serves lunch and shit. Yeah, like have this phone go off, we can sit down right now, I can call up for you and, and, and talk for you. Yeah, I know, you guys kind of put me on the spot though. No, it's all right, it's all right, man. We, we're doing this to get perspectives. Yeah. Give people some stuff. It's okay if you're not ready. You're not yeah. looking Yeah, what he's saying is he not ready, bro. He don't want, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, yeah, going, I kind of just like. Yeah, he, it's okay. he's doing an interview you with us. You feel me? We're going to look out for him yeah. when he finished and yeah. let that man finish doing what he's doing. Okay, that's that's yeah. the type of time he on. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, is there anything you, could, you got something you can tell people that can help them go through? Uh, like, is this going to go on the internet or something, man? Not just yet. I really hope it does. Right. Really but really but do you have something you can tell the people that, that, that can help them? That was kind of like some situation? trickery there. I didn't uh, know. No, no, no. There's no trickery because we're really giving this help. The help I'm offering you, you just ain't You no said thing. it was trickery? This is real. Well, no, I, I thought you were doing an interview for like... CBS? Yeah, ABC? You got, listen, we are the city. We doing this Yeah, thing. we... We not out here trying to get your story just to make you look bad. We not trying to make fun of you on here. No, no, we ain't even record the video that, just to like, watch it ourselves. So. Like, upload it online, people. Yeah, but no, you thought we was making fun of you. No, we not out here making fun of you, son. Yeah. You, know, so you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We out here really trying to get help. The help I'm saying I'm giving you... It's really out here for them. We just trying to figure out who ready to help that self. That's it. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so is there anything you can tell somebody encouraging that that's in your situation that you that help you get by? Anything that you can tell that help somebody else? Like some encouraging advice for them? Yeah. Get there? Um for me I just take it uh day by day. Um I try to be positive because I, I suffer from depression, PTSD. So I I try to keep everything balanced. 
uh, wake up and try to eat a meal, just do things. Because like I go through periods of like where I, I actually want to kill myself, so I try to keep it positive. You know? So what you do to not kill yourself? Like, what do you do to fight those thoughts? Um, like I said, I go to a psychiatrist. I take medicine. And I, um, yeah, it when it when it gets real bad, I go to the uh, emergency room. Okay, uh, shout out to Struggle. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Struggle. And we appreciate you, man. We appreciate you for your time and your perspective and your story. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? There's people out here that's going to need to hear your voice. You hear me? Yeah. So let's go over here. Let's go get you something. Uh, so the drink. What the city can do to help drug addiction? Wait, what? You said stop, stop with drugs. No, oh, hey, I, hey, but before you ask that, can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. It's like. For what a man think he is, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bay with you, bro. Like for it's in the Bible. I don't know if you believe in the Bible, oh, but do. Do. you do. For what a man think he is. So if you feel like you ain't worth nothing, that's what you're gonna become. If you feel like you're a bum, that's what you're gonna become. If you feel like you ain't gonna be nothing more than a drug addict, that's what you're gonna become. You're gonna embody those thoughts. Those thoughts gone, you know, become it's gonna become real life. 